Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Since our last video, I swapped my home office for the bustling streets of the UK to attend the 2023 London Blockchain Conference. But what's a journey without a bit of a hiccup, right? So I did get sick afterwards. I uh, got swamped with work right after, but uh, you know, lately, the weather's been great here in Europe and uh, you know, I've, I've been able to soak up some sun and it's certainly made up for the, uh, for the sickness uh, or the downtime rather. Now, the, the London Blockchain Conference is a three-day event that began on Wednesday, the 31st of May, and it ended on uh, Friday, the 2nd of June. Um, there's, there was a spring party organized uh, the night before by the Block Dojo and the Bitcoin Association. So it, it was held at a beautiful place called uh, Drake and Morgan in, in King's Cross. Uh, it presented a, a fantastic opportunity then to, to mix and, and mingle with uh, a diverse group of, of other Bitcoin SV fans or people from, from around the globe. The conference itself, <clears throat> it featured a, a lineup of, of exceptional, exceptional speakers uh, who have uh, enlightened us with, with their perspectives. They're all leaders and innovators in their respective fields. Um, and if you couldn't attend, that's okay. Fear not, because all the presentations can be viewed via the link in the video description I will link to below. Um, but in this video, I want to focus more on, on highlighting the projects uh, and the conversations I've had with, with people that uh, whom I've uh, personally met or, or seen presenting or shook hands with during the, the conference. Um, I've met quite a variety of people. You know, there are people working on providing enterprise level services. Uh, for example, you've got uh, Stefan Nielsen. He is the, the CEO and the co-founder of a company called Unisot. Um, and he was explaining to me the, the advantage of, of having a triple entry accounting. Basically, you know, you've got your uh, accounting for one party, the second party, and then you've got the blockchain. That's the third um, entry. Um, and that, how important that is when it comes to their Web3 supply chain traceability and sustainability platform. Because what they do is they track and trace seafood from the moment fish is, say, caught in the sea. Uh, they capture the data like who caught it, uh, the temperature of the water when it was first caught, you know, all this data that's, that's important for someone along the line of the, uh, the logistics of, of the seafood industry. They track and record details as seafood is transported all over the world until they get to their destinations. And, and their services are now being utilized in, in other agricultural industries. And, and now even in the construction industry, um, they're working with uh, companies there who've got interest in, in tracking and tracing supplies. I've also met uh, James Belding. Uh, he and his team at Tokenized has been busy developing a tokenization and a smart contracting platform that helps individuals, businesses, and governments tokenize almost everything from discount coupons, event tickets, reward points, digital currencies, and so on. And, and soon, they will be releasing solutions for copyright and patent licenses for leases and, and securities and, and so on. So they've just released their tokenization software and it's available for, for desktop. And I will do a video to try out this software actually, but you definitely do not have to wait for me because I do encourage you to download it yourself, start testing it and see if it's useful see if it's uh if it can actually improve your business um you've also got i've met uh, brendan lee of elas he he is providing enterprise he and his team 
uh, providing enterprise level services for big companies that uh, who wants to use the BSV blockchain. They do software development, um, developing blockchain AP APIs, and they're providing general blockchain consulting. So if you need help in that area, you can get in touch with them. And here is me with uh, Xiao Wei Lu. Xiao Wei was a research scientist at Facebook, but I, I first uh, remember him doing educational videos with, uh, with Satoshi Nakamoto himself, Dr. Craig Wright, on YouTube. Uh, and within a year after that, Xiao Wei developed a smart contract language for BSV, and he, sta he established a, a smart contract development platform at, at sscript.io. And it basically allows and educate individuals businesses, governments, and other organizations that uh, who want to develop smart contracts using the power of uh, Bitcoin SV. Uh, so check out his website at sscript.io. Um, one thing I noticed about this conference, uh, you know, especially being a conference about blockchain, is that it did not shy away from discussing a topic that many in this space would shy away from, which is regulation. And in this uh, in this conference, they've invited the the European um, the former ex executive board of the European Central Bank. He was also the former governor of the Central Bank of Luxembourg. His name's Yves Mersch, and he held a talk about regulating digital currencies in Europe. And uh, he was discussing it with other panelists, including Marcin Sarakowski, who is the executive com committee member of the Bitcoin Association. You've got Ben McKenzie, who is an actor and an author and a critic of the way uh, cryptocurrencies and related companies have been uh, promoting themselves in the past. And in this panel, you also have uh, Brian Doherty, the global public uh, the, the global public policy director of the Bitcoin. Bitcoin SV will change the world and countries that will use it and adopt it will prosper than those who don't. These countries will be able to do more for less. And um, this is what the Philippine government also understands. And they're pioneering uh, using blockchain solutions in administering and operating government processes. Um, they're using BSV blockchain because it is capable of, of providing the efficiency and the, the cost advantages that no other blockchains can. Um, and as soon as these solutions are rolled out in one province, the, the cost reduction and the efficiency benefits will be so apparent that they will be rolled out uh, to the rest of the country. So it's very promising news there from the Philippines who have seen now the benefits of the BSV, Bitcoin SV blockchain. Um, now, apart from these huge conversations, huge topics impacting nations, you know, there's still more enterprises uh, exploring using integrating Bitcoin SV, like uh, I've had the chance to, to uh, have dinner with Jordan uh, Kramsky, who is the solutions architects for startups in the EMEA region at uh, Amazon Web Services. I also got to hear about a new venture between Enchain and IBM. Uh, it's called Gate to Chain. Um, they provide blockchain solutions to businesses and organizations, including a service called Trace. And Trace provides uh, solutions. Uh, offering certificate of authenticity, uh, creating digital representations of physical products and ownership guarantees. Um, you know, so the, there's all these enterprise solutions for, for big businesses that, uh, that's looking for, for ways to, to reduce their cost and be more efficient. Um, I also got to meet uh, pioneers and uh, entrepreneurs many of which are funding their own projects with their own time, their own money, uh, and their passion, of course, um, exploring and, and innovating with the power of Bitcoin SV. And 
Among these are David Case and, and Luke Rohanaz of onesatordinals.com, as well as a couple of team members from im.world. Um, they're all exploring and developing technologies and websites around ordinals in Bitcoin SV. And I'm going to do a separate video about ordinals um, and try out onesatordinals.com and im.world. But feel free to, to start exploring those before I do. I also got to meet John, or sometimes he's called Jack Pitts in person. Uh, he is the co-founder of the world's first English dictionary ecosystem called Slictionary.com. And, and what distinguishes this dictionary from ordinary dictionaries is that the, the words are defined by users themselves. Because according to Pitt, people who are experts in their own fields are not necessarily those who are defining words in dictionaries. So for example, a person who is very passionate about jazz, attends jazz concerts, uh, as many times as as there's uh, as his budget can afford, um, can define words related to jazz multiple times better and more accurately and more relevantly than an academic who is just trying to define jazz related concepts from academic research. So if you are an expert in a specific field, uh, especially if you gained your expertise from real world experience and, and passion, then I, I encourage you to define a word in slictionary.com. Um, and what's in it for you? Well, if your definition is, is chosen as the dictionary's definition for that word, then you actually get rewarded perpetually in Bitcoin PSVs until, of course, a better definition comes along or a much preferred definition comes along. Um, we, I've also met uh, Jerry David Chan. It's, it's just been brief though, in, in person, uh, because he was about to, to speak. Um, but uh, he is an entrepreneur who just launched a new website called frobots.io. Um, it's a website developed to educate children and adult alike, and it's disguised as a game, if, if I can put it that way. It is basically a fun way of learning, um, coding. Uh, so visit robots.io to check it out. Um, now, apart from people who are exploring and innovating with Bitcoin SV, I've also met members of, of CoinGeek and the Bitcoin Association, along with, uh, say, Bantha, uh, Todd Price, and Connor Murray of the Bitcoin Association, uh, Crescenda Barbera caught me in between the presentations and asked me about Bitcoin SV, what I thought of it. And uh, I'll, I'll show you the clip of what, uh, what you actually took. Hello, my name is Marquez. I'm from bsvsearch.com. I'm enjoying these uh, presentations here at the London Blockchain 2023. And um, I'm in BSV because it's the only blockchain that works. We can do 100,000 transactions per second, uh, a lot more than all the other blockchains put together. And we can do micro payments and the fees are micro as well. It's almost free, so why not use it? Yeah, so that was fun. Um, now the, the conference also allowed people to stay back uh, and continue chatting, say at least for an hour after the presentations. and. I remember at the end of the day, the first day, I came across Carl Wuckert from, from CoinGeek, and we were talking about our reasons why we were both passionate about Bitcoin SV. And, you know, ordinarily, when I talk to people about Bitcoin, I'm needing to, to cover a lot of background information because most people just don't know about Bitcoin SV. Uh, but, you know, with Carl, I didn't have to. And it was good to have a conversation about Bitcoin. Uh, deeper than the usual surface level uh, topics. Um, and then the next day, I, I met in person his brother, Kurt Wolkert, who Kurt Wolkert Jr., whose uh, broadcast I've watched and listened to over at least a couple of years now. 
because he's been keeping everyone up to date about the uh, Satoshi Nakamoto court case trials, you know, with Craig Wright. And he's been educating everyone about the history of Bitcoin and uh, with his CoinGeek YouTube channel. So follow him, um, watch his, his shows. It's very informative. Um, I've had dinner with, with many of the CoinGeek team and, and other conference attendees afterwards. So it was real, really great to, to meet many individuals whom I've only had in contact online. And, and now I could actually get to have uh, conversations, interactive conversations with them in person. Um, now, apart from meeting people who are already familiar with Bitcoin or, or specifically Bitcoin SV, I also got to meet people who knew little about Bitcoin, but they understood that uh, they understand that blockchain will become increasingly important. Um, and, and so were curious and interested to know more. And that's why they attended. I met, uh, for example, Anastasia Petra, the chief operating officer at outsourcing of web and mobile uh, development company called myfort.com, as well as uh, Nathaniel Stefanov of Gravity Technologies. Gravity is uh, spelled uh, G-R-V-T-Y, Technologies Limited. Who, they're both sort of looking to do work with businesses, uh, wanting to, do, to work with blockchain. I've also met uh, Viera Manolova. She's working on an interesting project. It's called Generation Finance. Uh, it is, they're looking for uh, finance and banking solutions for the younger generation who may be experiencing difficulties or challenges with the current banking system. And there was also Elizabeth Colina. She is a Spanish tutor and is the founder of Hola Spanish Lessons. I was talking to her and I was telling her about, you know, how with Bitcoin SV, she can basically teach Spanish to anybody around the world and get paid BSV without the hassles of having to deal with traditional payments um, you know so they've the those three four days have been impactful uh, they gave me a lot of opportunities to meet and chat with with many people doing varied things uh, who are in different stages of, of getting to know or adopting or using Bitcoin SV uh, blockchain and you know for years you've you've I'm sure you've heard about Bitcoin digital currencies and blockchains that they're going to change the world. But up until now, I think only Bitcoin SV has really reached the performance and capacity levels that offers attractive solutions that are, that would make things cheaper and more efficient for businesses, individuals, enterprises, and governments to use. So, Whatever you're currently doing today, whatever industry you are in, think about how you can use Bitcoin, Bitcoin SV, to give yourself, your business, or your organization, your community, or even your country, a way to make things faster, a way to make things easier, a way to do things with less cost, so that you can do more with what you've got you know think about that um, until next time though subscribe to this channel so you can be notified of our future videos as we continue to explore how BSV is changing the world and hopefully it can eventually impact your life in meaningful helpful and practical ways all right until next time this is Marquez from bsvsearch.com Cheers. Bye-bye.